some of the roles of the director, so I'm over the grants, and I think maybe next year, according to finances, we're going to try to look at recabling. Um, okay. This top grant is a spectacular grant <laughs> for well, that. Glad, so. glad you applied, and really appreciate Senator Lumberg and uh, yes. Representative Hicks. Representative Hicks wanted to be here. He was double booked. He had yeah. another appointment elsewhere. Yeah. But, you know, I, I always you, you know he'd be here. Oh, so. no, oh yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah but I, know, um, yeah. I always appreciate the opportunity too to get our legislators in libraries to yes. see the positive things that are happening. Absolutely, um, libraries are being counted on now more than ever. They are. You know, to do a lot of different things. They really are. Resumes you know, and job re nights. resumes, job searches, babysitting sometimes, yes. teaching people <laughs> how to use Facebook and yeah. you know, air conditioning, Microsoft air conditioning is <laughs> a big one. Air conditioning is yes. a big one. Don't. Don't yeah, and that. we had the Rogersville office supply went out, so faxes and copies okay. and notary. Oh, we're getting slammed. Yeah. Are you a notary? I am. You do it all. Yeah, yeah. The I've one got shop. there's I've got one other staff member who's a notary, so we usually got somebody here all the time when we're open. I'm gonna remember that. Yeah, it's because there's there's nowhere else in town to go. <laughs> yeah. Do y'all charge? I do. We do charge five dollars, but honestly, if they don't have it, I'm I'm just. Sure. I told the staff our goal is to get people in. If Amen. they have late fees, let's wipe them out and let them. I mean, you just want people to come in. If they want to be in the library, I want them in the library. Are you seeing usership go up? We have. And well, in the past, I guess since COVID, we have seen an increase just from out of towners moving in mm -hmm. a lot. Hmm. Um, we've had a lot of new people, New York, California, Texas. Uh, but we've had just an enormous amount of people, and I'm thrilled that they move in and want to come to the library yeah. and get information. Yeah. And you know, I think that's one of the, when people move somewhere. I think that's one of the first places they go. Is their local yeah. library. Yeah. It, it, and it's wonderful. But yeah, we've had we've had a ton, and, and we love it. It's 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 good. But yeah, we've had it. I think we've had the increase. We had a really hard year after COVID. It took us yeah. a while to, for some reason, our branch especially just took a while to bounce back. But now. It's going great. Well, good. Yeah. yeah. So we're finally, hopefully, we never do that again. <laughs> so I, I've spoken with uh, Gary Hicks and Mr. Lundberg here. We are trying to get uh, finances for security. Okay. Uh, Dexter Libraries, uh, Churchill, and Scornful, and Rogerful. Uh, they two nights a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, they stay open to eight o'clock, and in the winter time, it's way after dark, and we have problems with homeless people here, just like everywhere else. So, uh, hopefully, that you, maybe you can work with them mm -hmm. and, and get us a grant or something for uh, security yeah. at our libraries. I can. I'll try to start looking too, see if there's well, one available. I'll talk to our regional library directors and kind of see what's happening around the state. I, I have to admit that's that's the first time I've heard that one. Of course, not a lot of places are offering late night hours either. So yeah, mm -hmm. well, and honestly, a lot of our issues are the Kenner House because it's empty. Okay. And so, all of the libraries, them coming and going. There's only usually two staff people in yeah, some it, of our yeah, libraries. You know, so yeah. it's yeah. there it's has just, to be two in the building. And it's quite a distance to the mm -hmm. parking yeah. lot. And it's not. It's I'm I'm seeing a, a decrease with the. Home. I know they are talking about getting grants and doing something with the care house, so that, I think that'll maybe fix a lot of it. But um, at one time, it was just a real issue for us. Yeah. Uh, problems. <laughs> a lot it's of problems. It's an easy place for someone to come in, and we're just looking at cameras. That's all we're looking at, where we can go back to the cameras to see them. Yeah. So th these are one of our, our top grants. If the legislature appropriates money, we work with the Department of Economic Community Development to give grants out to suburban and rural libraries so they can enhance their technological offerings. And, and here, this is certainly gonna enhance their ability to provide better internet service with inside this building. And uh, we're, we're glad to come and deliver, you know, a good sized check that we think will be instrumental in helping this library better serve its patrons. So uh, appreciate the leadership here in, in, in Rogersville and Hawkins County. Very grateful to Senator Lumberg and Representative Hicks. They're, they're the ones who appropriate the money. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I'm the person who, who um, has a, a, a big check printed and, and travel over to, to shine a bright light on the important work of our library. But they really are the ones that make it happen. I'm grateful for their leadership and support of libraries across the state, especially here in Northeast Tennessee. Okay, right. Now, talk about what you're gonna do with it. Yes. Uh, well, it's going to, I think we're getting Wi-Fi extenders so that it will help to push the Wi-Fi out so people when we're closed will be uh, able to use that and just to, to replace some of the cabling and the things that we have that's getting old in the library. 
so that we can better serve everybody and they have opportunity to use the Wi-Fi at any time. Is it just this library? Uh, no, it's, it is for HB Stamps, Church Hill Public Library, and the Sigournsville Public Library. It will be okay. for all three. You know, I think what a lot of people don't understand is that there's still a lot of people that don't have a computer at home. Uh, they don't have the internet connection at home. And even if they had an internet connection, they might, because of affordability, not, might not do that. So many people will come here and they'll bring their phone, they'll bring their tablet, yes. and they'll sit outside even after hours or before hours so that they can have internet access. So it, that's, why, that's what makes this important, not just to have access inside the building, but outside yes. the building as well. So I, I appreciate the leadership here both at the state and local level to help make this happen. Yes. Okay. Well, Mr. Lumber, anything? Actually, they they wrapped it up. That was it. <laughs> okay. So, all right. I good. should since I'm running. Yeah. So, but you're good. Thank you.